Hi, I'm Andy Lindsay with Four Winds Boats. Beautiful day here in Michigan, and I'm standing in front of the new 2019 V275. This is a great boat for people with families that want to get into overnighting or tripping around the lakes and staying overnight. The nice thing about this boat is you can build it the way you want it built. The options are there, and you equip it for what your needs are with the help of your dealer, and away you go. This boat is a very stylish boat in the 275. The lines are great. Even the way the windows are set up, very advanced. The styling of the hull, all of the uh, parts of this boat are accentuated by color and design in the fiberglass. This boat that I'm showing you today is in the phantom gray with the black stripe. This is all gel coat, so it's total gel coat boat, so you don't have any uh, graphic on it. it. Stands up very well. St stainless steel gunnels, stainless steel everything. Stainless steel bow rails, they're a one inch bow rail. You've got your cleats, everything you need, whether you're running in salt water or whether you're running in fresh water. When you move to the front of the boat, you can get op optional deck sun pads, which is really a must on a boat like this. So for relaxing up front. Another thing that this boat is equipped with is the optional windlass. Operates very well and it works very effectively with this boat. You can also go with the spotlight on the front of the boat, which is nice to have for if you're coming in at night docking or just trying to see in the dark. The V275 is a 28 foot boat with a nine foot two beam. And with that nine foot two beam and a boat this size, you can see it everywhere you go inside the boat. It just gives it that much more room in the cockpit and definitely that much more room down in the cabin. The boat's laid out very well, so it's got a roomy cockpit in the boat, but I'm standing on the swim platform right now. It's a huge swim platform. It's a great size. Nice thing about it is you have this seat that faces aft and then faces inside of the cockpit, but you can also put deck chairs on it. The other great feature is the Four Winds Ladder. It's a deep reach ladder that steps a long ways down into the water. So it's easy to walk up, it's canted. You've got the lid over top, protect that area with a handhold to get up on the boat, works very well. On the back end here, there's also some other features. You have an optional hot and cold shower right off the back of the boat. Great feature to have. So some other things that you need on a boat like this, especially for overnighting and things like that, is your fresh water fills and they're in a nice location on the back of the boat. So you have your water fill here. You also have a city water inlet. So when you put, hook up your hose to that, it keeps pressure in the boat at all times. Also, nice thing, nice location. When you need to do your pump out at the uh, marina, it's right here on the back of the boat, not forward in a nice location. The seating in this boat is very functional. So you have an aft seat if you want when you're parked at the dock or you're just sitting on the lake facing backwards off the aft of the boat. The nice thing about it is that you can then take it all the way back and you can sit inside the cockpit. You have a table that goes here, you sit there. The other really cool feature about this boat is everything drops down because everything folds inward. Even this seat here folds down into place. Nice thing about it, you've got a tanning bed now right on the back of your boat. So it's very functional, very easy to use. The biggest thing about this is you don't have to carry cushions around and move the boat around and have to store them. So there's lots of room this way. As I've been showing you, this cockpit area, how multifunctional it is, we've got it now set up with the fiberglass table. It also comes in a protective bag, so when you are storing it away, you've got a place to put it, but it's also safe to store and protect it. Nice thing about this table, which is a great feature, is cup holders built right in. So when you're sitting here having dinner, your cups aren't gonna come, come off of the table at all. They're fixed. But it's just a nice setup, seating for four, great feature. Like I said before, this boat can be loaded with features and options to, to your needs. The nice thing that we've done here is we've created an outdoor galley in the cockpit. So it's where you're gonna be sitting most of the time, creates more space down below. It's all ready to go because you've got your grill right here. Nice thing about this grill, it's very easy to use, it's electric. This grill pops out, there's just a pan down below for easy cleanup, so it functions really well. You've got this sink, optional sink, and also a cockpit refrigerator, so you've got everything right there. Down here, and I'll show this, you've got a gate off the back, so you've got 
so people can't f go through when you're underway. All your, when you enter the boat, you've got your electrical, your switches right here, so you can turn the boat on. All your ship systems is right there. And also you have a trash receptacle on this side, so when you're working at this area, it's all right there. So the V275, like I was saying, has a lot of space in the boat, a lot of seating. You have a nice seat here, it's like a chaise lounge, facing the back of the boat while you're underway. You have this area here, which you have seating for two. They both sides have flip up bolsters. So if you want to stand up, you can. Otherwise, flip them down. If this whole seat is adjustable. It's got a big boat feel, has a very wide dash. The top of the dash is all nicely finished, stitching on it. It goes all the way down so you don't get the reflection from the sun on the white. You get a very good vision right through the windshield. The helm station itself is all stainless steel toggle switches, all labeled, everything you need to operate the boat. Multifunctional gauges, all in one. So you've got here on this, your speedo and your fuel and your trim on this side. Temperature, your tack over here, and even oil pressure over here. Another very nice feature to have on a boat of this size, 28 feet. Keep in mind, it is a single engine and uh, the bow thruster here is a very nice option to have. It's easy to use. You press that button down and it becomes operational and move it back and forth. Easy to get out of the dock. Nice to have when you're moving into a dock for maneuvering and the boat handles exceptional. We use a Garmin GPS as an option on the boat. Very nice to have. Garmin's very friendly to use and uh, it, it's a must to have on this boat. Tilt steering is standard on the boat. You've got your stereo head right here so you can operate that from the helm station. Optional VHF radio, nice thing to have just in case if you need anything or for information and in case of emergency. The air goes to the boat, very good. It's nice to sit at. You've got a foot ledge down below where my feet are so when you are running the boat it feels very comfortable in the boat. The nice thing about the boat is to access the front you have built-in fiberglass steps, so it's very easy to go up. It doesn't interfere with the companionway going down into the boat. So it's easy to access, easy to walk up, and easy to get up on those uh, sun lounge cushions at any time. To access the cabin of the boat, it's very easy. You have a nice lifting area here that lifts it up, and then it's on gas shocks, so everything gets out of the way. You have a door here, hooks up over here. And the nice thing about going down into this, the companionway itself is three steps down, but the steps right there, so it's easy to get down into the boat. The V275 cabin has ample space inside. It, it's a very nice layout, very good use of space. You can see the headroom inside here, where the ceiling is up raised all the way to the bow of the boat. So no matter where I sit in this boat, I've always got headroom above me because one, you, you can use this area as a dining area where your table comes pole goes in here and you have a table if you want to eat down here. The other thing this area converts into a bed as well. So you've got sleeping here and you can see down below with the windows on both sides you're always looking outside it's at eye level it's easy to use. You have upper cabinets here with positive latches store your gear or whatever you want to put there. Nice thing too is the upper sky windows allowing light to come into the boat so it feels very open and airy inside this boat. You also have the opening port light window here to allow one ventilation. It'll also bring down light into the cabin as well. With the good use of space also comes storage. Like I said before, there's storage everywhere in the boat so you can store all kinds of things underneath these cushions. Everything's finished off. Like in some areas you have fiberglass tubs. You also have a small galley down below. So if you want to use the galley down below, You've got an optional microwave, you've got a hot plate, and also you have a refrigerator down here as well. So you've got extra room for a 28 foot boat with two fridges on board. It's a great feature. The sink is also here at this level too. So also with the uh, Corian cover on top. So when you're not using that, you can use that as a workspace. You have 110 volt here. So you put your coffee maker. The 275, the head on board, it's very spacious for a 28 foot boat, all fiberglass liner. You've got your sink, porcelain china head, and it also is combination as a shower as well, that you can have a shower here 
Moving to the aft of the cabin, you have a spacious queen-size bed area in the back of the boat. It has storage, it has a vented window above, you have your lighting. In the aft area, as you come down the stairs, you have your head for the stereo here located as well, so if you're down in the cabin, you can operate it from here. It's a kicker system. And then also, all of your main switches are here, so your breakers and your power. So if you're plugging into shore power, all your switch panel is down here in the cabin. You got also down here adjustable shelving, which is nice to have. So whatever you're putting in there, you can put uh, different things and it. it's adjustable. All positive latches that lock shut. So I've walked through many of the new features on this V275. This boat has a lot of things to offer the, the, the boater that wants to get out for the weekend and weekend or just trip around the Great Lakes or anywhere in the world for that matter. It's got a lot of features. It's laid out very well. I think you'll love it. You need to uh, get into one and uh, have a look. The one thing that I think the boat does do is it's a great family boat. It offers sleeping, it offers recreation, and all the amenities of home in a package that's 28 feet long, nine foot two beam for lots of stability, and it's a great boat. Thank you.